Looks like the first person is arriving for in-person worship at St. Andrew's Church in Stittsville. Can't believe it's been 19 months since we've been in the sanctuary together. Let's see who it is. Morning, Reverend Kendall. It's great to see you again. It's so nice to be back at church. It's been so long. Oh, my mask. I forgot my mask. Do you have an extra one? Well, yes, I do. Here you go, Doug. That's much better. Can I see your proof of vaccination? Sure, yep. I printed it off. There you go. Will I have to show that again every Sunday? No, you don't have to show it every time, just the once. Then we'll keep track of it and we'll check it off on a list. Well, that's great. Now you're going to have to wait outside until 9.50 before we let you into the church, just so we may manage to keep everybody inside for the least amount of time as possible. That's fine, I can wait out here until 10 to 10. I'll try and stay six feet away from the other people that are out here though. If anyone else arrives, I hope more people come. Oh, I'm, I'm sure they will. As you go inside, I'll ask you to sanitize your hands and then you can go straight up the stairs and you'll see the next station to get ready for worship this morning. Okay, so as soon as I go inside, I'll sanitize my hands and we'll be ready to go. I've got someone else who's coming later uh, who's gonna need the elevator. Is that okay as well? Yes, of course. Now, one thing, the elevators have automatic doors now. So when you press the button, step back and it will open itself within about five seconds. Okay, that's great. Well, it's 10 to 10 now. Come on in. Okay, let's go in. Let me take a minute to sanitize my hands. And let's go up. Welcome back to St. Andrews. As you come in, I invite you to sign in and so we have contact tracing. So one person from each household needs to sign in, but put the names of all the people who are here at worship this morning. You'll also notice that the offering plate is right beside there. We don't want to pass the plate during the service, but we're giving people the opportunity to make their offering. And then one of the elders will bring it forward during the offering time in the service. So come on in. Thank you, Reverend Kendall. I noticed there are some chairs set up here as well. What are those for? We have the chairs and the TV set up just in case we have a need for overflow. If you're finished signing in for the contact tracing, come and join me in the sanctuary. Uh, where do I put my jacket? We're gonna ask you to keep your jacket with you so we don't have people bunching up in the cloakroom area. And at the end of the service, we're all gonna leave through the, our, the far doors, the old main entrance to the church, so that we're not coming back through the same space we were just in. That makes sense. Okay, I'll keep it with me. Boy, the decorations look nice. Donna sure has been busy. What's that there for? Well, I've heard several people say they're gonna find it difficult to transition from having worship at home sitting on their couch to being in the church. So I thought maybe we could have a couch for at least one Sunday. That's a great idea. I'd love to sit on the couch. Can I sit there? No, just to make sure that we don't have people walking past someone sitting down. We're going to fill the pews from the front to the back. 
okay, that's fine, but I really would like to sit in my favorite pew. Is that not okay? I know how attached people are to their favorite pews. Hopefully we can do that soon, but unfortunately you can't pick your pew just yet. So we'll have to seat from the front to the back. I understand. I'm really looking forward to being able to sing again. Will we get to sing at the church service today? I love to sing too, and hopefully we can do that soon, but we've decided for the time being just to be extra cautious and hold off on singing. Now the choir will still be having their anthems and the choir will be singing along with the hymns, but it'll all be done electronically and we'll hear it through the sound system here. I understand, hopefully soon. Oh, I look forward to that too. Why don't you come with me though and I'll show you where to sit. It looks like I'm the lucky one. I'm gonna get the front pew. I invite you to sit on that side of the pew if that's okay. Oh, over here? Okay. I noticed that half of the pews were roped off. Why is that? Yes, we've roped off every second pew so we can maintain that six feet of physical distancing. Why is that spot there saved? We're reserving that end of the front pew for our reader, if we have a reader to come up and do a reading. Oh, okay. It feels like I might be one of the first people ever to sit in this front pew. No, that front pew does get used, though it hasn't been used in a while, that's for sure. So at the end of the service, we're gonna invite everybody to go out this door here. The ushers will guide us and we're gonna leave from the front to the back of the church as well. We do this so that people are not walking past each other. So we'll go out this way? Yes, unless you need the elevator. If you need the elevator, we invite you to stay in your pew until people have come out and then an usher will help you to get to the elevator and you can go down and out the main doors. I know it's not exactly the same as the way church used to be, I know people will miss the singing, but for now, this is what we can do. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been meaningful for you. Come on through these doors and we'll go outside. Okay. Thank you, Reverend Kendall. It's great to be back. I'm gonna have one last look around before I go. Boy, it's good to be back. Thank you, Reverend Kendall. It's good to be back. It's great to see you again, Doug, and it's great to be worshiping in person. Stay safe, stay well, and God bless you. Hopefully see you next week. Bye-bye. Oh, I certainly hope so. Bye-bye. Come all you people, come and praise your maker. Come all you people, come and praise your maker. Come all